Hello and welcome to another P-Security channel review. Today I'll be taking a look at Panda Cloud Antivirus Beta version 2.9 and first of all I'll just show you guys what it looks like. As you can see it's fastly changed. The user interface is more suited to Windows 8 now because it has to be visually compatible now that everyone's using Windows 8. Not everyone but still most of the users I guess and uh, we get some new features as well like a Wi-Fi monitor which allows you to you know view all the connected devices to the Wi-Fi stuff like that USB vaccine something Panda always comes up with you know in most of their products I think they implement this and I really don't see you know much of a point in doing this because you can always just if you have a really good antivirus it would just catch any malware with the real-time protection but anyway they give you these extra tools and you get the regular ones and this comes with the firewall and you can adjust it to be home work or public place and it does come with intrusion detection that's something really neat and I really like this new user interface it's a pleasant change from the last one which appeared a little bit clumsy to me this one feels more spread out and I like it so let's just take a look at their advanced settings we get the antivirus settings permanent protection or real-time protection whatever they like to call it behavioral blocking behavioral analysis it's really neat and you get the regular settings that you expect with any anti-malware product now the neat thing is the firewall is actually quite detailed in this one you can control your programs can edit their rules in fact you can edit all of the rules if you want there you go and uh, by default they en enable rules recommended by their lab and it does have intrusion prevention and it comes with a lot of defenses so it'll be nice to see how these work out in the real scenario we've got a process monitor which was turned off by default but I turned it back on and the Wi-Fi monitor so it's pretty neat it comes well equipped to deal with all kinds of malware at least that's what the components tell us now this interface is quite interesting you can move around any of the parts of the user interface and make them fit anywhere you want in fact you can even drag them to a next page and a next page and so on or if you don't like to see something you can just drag it over here which is a bit like Android but I guess this is supposed uh, supposed to resemble the live tile system of Windows 8 so it looks pretty nice I have no complaints with the user interface it's much improved I feel and um, remember it's still in beta so we might have more improvements along the way and at present the memory usage is fine it's a little bit high I'd say for um, a cloud antivirus it's about well let's see okay it's it's quite well it's pretty decent actually it's around well, let's say 18 megabytes that's really nice and um, so it's nice and light it sometimes goes up to around 30 35 but uh, not much of an issue unless you run a really slow computer and since this is a cloud antivirus it does most of the work in the cloud so your PC resources are not used that much so it does look pretty nice and it does have a lot of components it does look well equipped to deal with zero day malware because it has lots of uh, independent um, components that do not rely on signatures it has a behavioral blocker it has a process monitor and intrusion prevention so let's see how these components work in real time and how it reacts to some real zero-day malware so I've got about 11 links over here and we'll try these out and see how Panda Cloud Antivirus blocks these remember this is still in beta so it's not really fully functional but as soon as they release the final version I'll give it a complete test with the detection rate test as well this will just be a pr prevention test 
okay, fine. So it found this um, piece of malware and says I have to restart to clean my PC. Hmm, that's interesting. Shouldn't have to restart because um, it's not really a threatening infection or something. I just started it. Anyway, we'll try to go on with the test and let's see how Panda does and we'll restart towards the end. Okay, this one got caught by their website blocking. That's neat. Panda does have a pretty decent URL filter so that we should see these alerts very often. This one's just plain dead. And uh, is telling us to restart. I'm not sure for what reason. It seems to have quarantined the file. Let's keep running the malware and see how it does. This one's not caught by the website blocking, neither is it caught by the real-time protection. So it seems to have slipped through Panda. Let's try this one. Okay, this one's blocked by their website protection. Whoops. Okay. This one's block two. So is this one. This one's caught as well. So you can see the real time web protection is pretty decent. It's getting most of the links. There you go again. And finally, the last one. Let's see how this one works out. Might take a while to load. Meanwhile, let's just see what happened to the one file that Panda didn't block. Quite sure there was one file. Mm, this one appears to be dead. Just tried once more. Well, I don't really see something really fishy running around. And Panda's uh, process monitor doesn't seem to... F okay, here we go. So, the process monitor does show a file called UP. Okay, it might, might, must be here as well might have missed it. Hmm, that's quite interesting. Doesn't look like we have it over here. Anyway, so the process monitor did find this one executable and it classified it as low risk and as a result it didn't do anything. Let's try to view the full report. So this is an unsigned file. So, okay. So if we want, we can block this over here. So the low risk is probably because it doesn't have a signature. Anyway, so if we want, we can always block this. Okay, that's really neat, but I won't be using that right now because a regular user would probably not be able to figure this out by himself. So what I'll do, I'll just reboot the system and see if it allowed that file to do anything malicious. 
and if the system security was compromised. So we'll do a malware byte scan and I'll be right back with the results. Welcome back. I did a scan with Panda Cloud Antivirus, did a critical area scan and that was fairly fast. I also scanned with malware bytes as I promised and it didn't come up with anything. So looks like Panda Cloud Antivirus Beta version 2.9 protected the system fairly well, even with files that it didn't have signature stuff. So this is a really nice product. I feel the zero-day components could be integrated in a much better way, which would be more user-friendly, because at the moment it's really hard to know whether or not it's protecting you. I mean, it doesn't tell you much when it blocks a zero-day malware. So I would like to see some improvements in the process monitor that would enable you to get easier access to unidentified process and also in the behavioral analysis which right now is fairly limited so definitely a lot of scope for improvement but you know it definitely has a long way to go but uh, well the ideas are great and uh, the basic protection offered in this product is really good so I hope to see the final version with a few improvements and uh, it may be a very serious competitor in the free antivirus market so hope you guys enjoyed this video comment rate and subscribe as always and thanks for watching